Welcome to this week's YouTube and we want to give you a Rika update. And what we've been witnessing is that Grayson seems to be the more tractable of the two adults that uh, Rika is spending time with. She's more relaxed. She does not show as much anxiety about Grayson being over her. Matter of fact, uh, they just had a little bout this morning of some interactions. Grayson was scent rolling on a bone and whenever a wolf scent rolls that always makes the other wolves kind of wonder because they're in a vulnerable position they're rolling over uh Rika tries to do a little bit of play bow to him and then because he's a little bit unstable rolling and his tail wagging uh she actually tries to bite his tail which is a little bit of a predatory behavior and certainly something that Grayson uh, does chase her off but it does not detract her from um interacting uh, these two seem to be having more uh, interactions of uh, approaching, chasing, you know, playing uh, much more than uh, Rika and Axel. Uh, it seems to be he's, Axel's a little bit more intimidating for Rika. So it's slow progress. It hasn't even been a month yet. Uh, we're working on, you know, it was three weeks on Monday. And so we're um, dealing with, you know, time as being of the essence. But you can see here Rika chasing back with Grayson and then she goes for a swim in the pond uh, which is another thing that she's been um, reluctant to do is to go in very deep and so we're starting to see more and more of her engaging in this uh, environment and uh, certainly we see her as being very independent uh, she um, doesn't really have a, a much of a, a challenge with some of the rocks or um, areas uh, she actually picked up from Grayson how to chase ravens uh, that was a Kind of a new um, you know behavior that she displayed uh, there also was a feeding that happened on saturday night and you see grayson eating on a deer head here up in the woods with rika right next to him chewing on something else so those two have been uh, definitely spending more time together around the feedings not saying that axel's not there but it's just more comfortable for rika to eat with grayson and grayson has actually been bringing her food and uh, that night um, he actually gave her the deer head after he kind of was done chewing on it so that's where she's at uh, we are hearing some howling from Grayson <coughs> and really it's it's hard to interpret what he's saying it doesn't get a response out of Rika um, he does howl in the mornings um, before wolf care get here uh we you know are trying to look at some correlations uh but uh it it, it seems to be directed about rika where rika is uh who's interacting with her um seems to be you know, kind of the pattern that we're seeing but like i said with axel um the issue seems to be with the dominance and uh, axel had been more dominant over grayson but here you see Grayson doing a chin rest on top of Axel with his tail more elevated and Axel's tail a little bit uh, lower. And that prompts Axel to um, engage a little bit more and to get a little bit more uh, assertive in his relationship. Rika watches. Uh, she does find safety in the rocks. She does find safety with the wolf care staff. Um, she is um, cognitive of that and she definitely avoids getting in the middle of it but it is certainly something that is going to increase as the temperatures decrease and we get into fall hormones uh, we'll start seeing more of that so it'll be interesting to see how she engages but certainly her presence in the pen um, is influencing how Grayson responds and this and the behaviors we'll be looking for are T formation blocks as well as uh, head chin rests um, posturing tail postures that kind of thing the great thing for me is that Wolf Care is a team, and I had the great opportunity to work with uh, two of our most experienced Wolf team members who have been through pup introductions, have been through issues with dominance before, Jen Westland and Jess Edberg, both former Wolf Center employees. And while we're having that discussion, Grizzer does a little bit of a play bow and a chase uh, through the enclosure, so he's doing real well. We're not getting a lot of time to film him, but uh, obviously Rike is our priority right now. Uh, but as uh, the fall progresses, we'll be getting more and more video footage of the retirees as well. Denali's doing great as well, starting to grow his winter coat, so starting to look a little bit bigger. He was looking pretty trim and thin um, this summer, but uh, now he's putting on a few extra pounds uh, as winter approaches and certainly putting on a little bit of extra hair. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.